Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. We're going to hop into it, Pisces. We're going to get a universal message. We're going to see what the divine wants you to know. Any form of guidance here. Okay? Stop giving away your power right now. Okay? So that's your divine message, Pisces. The universe is asking you to step up and take back control of your life. Take back your power, right? Stop being depressed. Stop feeling low. You know, give yourself the best positive energy you can give. Stand up for yourself. Speak up for yourself. Do whatever it is you have to do to regain that control over self of, of happiness and joy. You know what I'm saying? If something doesn't feel right to you, Pisces, just don't do it. If you want to say no, just say no. You know what I'm saying? This is the universe asking you to get back in alignment. Okay. So let's hop into it. Gonna check up on the energy of your person. Gonna see how they feeling about you. When it comes to love, romance, and relationships. All right. So what is the energy of that special person? The Pisces first card showing up is the Wheel of Fortune. Look at the number 10. Okay. Somebody's birthday might be March 10th. Okay, but yeah, this is things changing around this situation. Okay, so this person may view you as someone who's changed or their feelings has changed. Okay, but for the better. Okay, this is a good change. Okay, this person is becoming aware of something. Okay, here with the hangman. Okay, they seeing you in a different light. They viewing you from a different perspective here. Okay, a lot of passion here with the knight of wands. Okay, this person, they got a thing for you. You know what I'm saying? They desire you. You turn them on. Okay. This may not be one who's totally ready for a commitment. Okay. But they do still want some form of forward movement with you here with the Six of Swords. Okay. Yeah, Pisces. So I see someone who sees change in you for the better. Okay, um, they viewing you different. They have a sexual desire for you and they would like to keep this relationship moving forward. Okay, what's crossing everything is the star. Okay, so this person, you know, like the star is like a big wish fulfillment. It's, it's, it's a card of hope. Okay, it's also getting in alignment with something. Okay. So, um, this person viewing you in a different light, maybe, maybe because there's some form of alignment starting here. Okay. This person seems more happier around you. Okay. So Pisces, let's see how they viewing you here with this wheel of fortune. What changes? Okay. Let's see what they feel has changed over time. Okay. we got the king of wands. Okay, and this is you being a leader, right? This is you consistently doing something steadily on a steady path, right? This is you minding your business, okay? Moving on with life, becoming more successful, fulfilling your dreams, okay? So they they see uh, a lot of hope, right? When they look at you, they see structure, stability, right? And passion, okay? Can't forget the passion. Like I said, they got a thing for you, okay? Page of Cups, they see you being more authentic, okay? They see you being more true to yourself, more, more in control of your emotions. That's what they see. Okay, and that's good for them for whatever reason. Okay, remember this person showing up as a knight of wands. Okay, so somebody who's able to control their emotions is a good thing for somebody who not, you know, stable with one person. But like I said, they viewing you in a different perspective. Okay. Okay. The Empress. Okay. I feel like this person wants to get to know you deeper or want to be 
a part of you because I see this empress is with child. I don't think they want you to have a baby or you may not want to have a baby or whatever. But I do see them wanting to be a part of you. Okay. That hangman. They want to ensure that when they ready to move forward with you, you coming. Okay. So they, they want to make sure they can keep you around here. Okay. But, you know, the nine of swords is telling me that they, you know, they may be kind of worried about that. Okay. Especially if they in that Knight of Wands energy of spreading that stuff really, really thin. Okay, let's see this Knight of Wands. Let's talk to it. Oh, the magician. See, this person is two steps ahead. Okay. It seems like look look how the truth is electrified, right? You see that lightning on the sword? To his hand. He's touching a cup. Uh, yeah, getting power from a source. Hmm. I feel like when you two make love, because that's what it is, it's 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 powerful. Okay. A lot of people look at sex as for a good feeling. But it's deeper than that, especially here, right? It's an exchange of something, an exchange of energy, an exchange of everything, okay? So, you know, you can be careful with this person. I feel like you need to be careful because you can become very attached to this person and they may break your heart, okay? But they do want to keep something going with you, right? Oh, and it's the Queen of Cups. Okay. <sighs> I feel like when this person makes love to you, they're in love with you. You know, outside of that, I really don't see them committing. You know, I see this being... You being someone that they can run to, you know, maybe when all other options fail, maybe when they need to get away or when they tired of doing what they do. And that's a horrible thing. Truly, it is. And there's really no if, ands, buts about it. But I can't say when they're inside of you they feel like they're a part of you with that empress you know they want to be a part of you they want to keep you around but right now they're just not ready for a commitment okay and they see you as somebody being emotionally strong and in tune with yourself and they view that as a good thing and they want to hang on to that maybe it's that is what they're attracted to someone who knows how to play the game Someone who knows I'm not committing to them, but they still able to, you know, not blow up off of their emotions or keep their mouth shut. Right. And I I think this person kind of feel it, uh, something about this nine of swords. It's like it's a whole graveyard here. Right. It's like I'm sleeping in the graveyard. Right. Like this person dies a little every night or something, you know. And there's something with that. I'm going to clarify that now in the source again. But yeah, I do. I, I see a transfer of energy, uh, a, a big magnetic energy transfer when you all, you know, become intimate. Th there's something so strong there, but there's no commitment. Okay, there's no commitment. So the six of sources person do want to keep you around for when they're ready to settle down. And you could be the person that they may want to move forward with. They want to keep it peaceful. They want to keep you close to them. Okay. But there's the seven of swords. You know what I'm saying? That's that's not cool. Right? I seen that ace of swords being electrified to the cups so i feel like 
Pisces, you need to make a mind over heart decision. Okay, when it comes to this person. Because you, they look your cup open. Right? And I'm telling you, man, they got you. But they plan you. They gonna, they gonna hurt you. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna hurt you because they're gonna drag you through many cycles, right? I know change is good. Who you've become, that strong person who's in tune with themselves, you can't let this per person get you stuck, okay? You can't let this person get you pregnant, okay? You can't let this person stress you out. The sex may be great. It may be electrifying. There may be so many different things that happen when y'all sharing each other. Y'all go to a whole nother world. And afterwards, you know, you so in love. And even though this person keeps coming back to you, keep going through all these cycles with you, they keep you close. They keep you around because when they inside of you or you're inside of them, however that goes, they do love you at that point. But outside of that, I don't feel like there's really nothing. I feel like this person with the seven of swords is emotionally manipulating you. They're emotionally manipulating you because they love your sex. They don't want to go without that. The rest of you, I don't think they really give a damn. That sexual part of you, they can't live without it. You understand what I'm saying, Pisces? So, yeah, this person is definitely using you for their own personal reasons. And they're emotionally manipulating you with that magician. Okay? Yeah. This is what they got for you. There's always something new in it there's always a new way of doing it there's always it gets stronger the touch the way they feel the way they touch you look at you all of that it's all a deception okay it's all an opportunity for them they're an opportunist for you know that queen of cups what's crossing that energy is the judgment okay so, I feel like with judgment, you're being called to go within, deep, deep, deep within, okay? And stay in tune with this good energy you got going. How they view you is who you truly are. You are strong. You are taking the lead. You are advancing in your life. You are becoming grounded within yourself. Your life is changing, okay? This person will... Put you back where you came from. Stressed about them. You know, worrying. All these different partners. All those different energies. You know what I'm saying? Even though, you know, it just seems really hard to believe that there's never going to be nothing more than what it is. Because of that deep, deep feeling. That exchange of energy. Right? But... That's all, I ain't going to say that's all they feel you're worth, but that's the worth, okay? They don't want the cow. They just want the milk. So somebody has to go deep within themselves and really come out on top, really rise like the Phoenix Sun, really see this for what it is, you know what I'm saying? And ultimately bring an end to it. But you know, the decision is yours always. Right. But that's what the universe is strongly urging me to say. So that is the energy Pisces. Let's get some divine time messages. OK. So when it comes over here to this wheel of fortune, Pisces, this is you. OK, this is you and your strength. This is you succeeding. This is you consistent. OK, this is you taking lead over your life understanding who you are being grounded within yourself right and you get in the winter okay so in the winter okay you may get lonely it may be lonesome because see there's no one there right so don't make permanent decisions based off of temporary feelings especially when you feel lonely 
Okay. So when it comes to this hangman for your person, right? They want to keep you hanging around. They want to be a part of you. But they do have their concerns, right? That you will end it one day with this nine of swords, okay? And they know that that would devastate them, okay? So this person definitely wants to kind of stick for you to stick around, okay? And this card says this month, okay? So if you're still dealing with this person, I feel like this month here, the month of March, right? They 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 may um do something that may concern you. Okay. I I feel like um this month is a month you need to be very careful and protect yourself because that Empress is out here. She's very fertile, you know, for the women. Okay. For the men too, be careful because if you don't want to have a child with this person, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you do everything you can to protect yourself as well, okay? But I feel like something you don't see coming here with the moon and all of these clouds on this month, right? There's something you don't see coming, okay? And it's going to concern you when when it does happen, Okay? So when it comes to this Knight of Wands, you know, this person, they're not ready for a commitment, right? They still have other people that they deal with, but somehow they're working their magic on you to keep you around. You know, there's something special about you that they want you to stay around. Okay. So within six months, this is a jellyfish, right? And a jellyfish, you, you could bounce on top of it all day. But as soon as one of those tentacles touch you, you know, there's that electrocution. There's that electrifying feeling. Okay? So within six months, I see you rising. Right? Because those jellyfish, they be all at the bottom. Then they come up for whatever they come up for. But I see you rising. Okay? And within this rise, I see you more so... Picking up on something with all those antennas. Picking up on some valuable information about this person within the next six months, right? If you bounce on the surface with this person, you know what I'm saying? You might not pick up on it. But if you go deep uh, with this person, right? Pick their brain, get into their head. You, you're going to find out something, right? Your intuition is going to let you know something, okay? But this person wants to keep you close. They want to keep you, you know, in their pocket, right? They don't never want to not deal with you, right? They like the way it is, however it's going, however this is rolling, they okay with it, okay? And and then we got the next full moon, okay? Look at that. That's a companion. The next full moon, okay? I feel like the momentum will be rising. I feel like a secret is going to be revealed because I'm looking at all the energy that's coming in. I'm seeing you guys face to face, having a deep, intimate conversation about something. Okay. So, yeah, that's the energy Pisces. I hope it resonated. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see which chakra needs to be worked on. Or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, you have the sixth chakra and this is the third eye chakra. And its relevance is to acknowledge spirit. I trust in a higher source and I acknowledge my direct connection with it. In the stillness, I listen for the wisdom inside and I am open to the spirituality that is within and all around me. I know that love is the creative force. I meditate and welcome mystical truths. I am open to seeking guidance in my spiritual quest from a spiritual teacher, master, or guru. Okay? Acknowledge spirit is the positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead. Hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.